love you. I love you. Sure. <laughs> and wrapping it up, what would you like to say to all the young people that follow your work out there and all the young people that watch our platform, Mzans? Um, stay in school. God is good. Love your mama. Respect your parents. Don't forget to be kind. I think the biggest thing in life is to be kind. A lot of people are going through a lot of things out there. And it really helps if we are kinder to each other, if we are there for each other. While we're all walking each other home, let's hold each other's hands. Let's hold each other accountable. Um, let's not be frivolous. Time is fleeting. All of us are fleeting. I'm older than I was when I walked in here. So whatever you got to do, do it now. Do it now. Time is fleeting. All of this is fleeting. When you think you are at the, the, the highest peak in your career, this too shall pass. But if you also feel like you are at the lowest values, that too shall pass. Right? Nothing is forever. The only thing constant in life is change. So allow yourself to, to be immersed in the change. Don't, don't fight change. Be malleable. Be like water. Don't fight change. First of all, I'd like to say condolences to Mpo Sibing. What a beautiful, beautiful soul. And South Africa has really lost a young icon, a young legend in Mpo. And we want to say thank you so much to his family and his loved ones and friends um, for borrowing us this beautiful soul. And to God, thank you. He was really, really, really good in his craft. And I remember him from a long time ago. And it's such a sad, sad, sad time for South Africa to have lost this beautiful, beautiful young talent. So what I want to emphasize on is what he said about kindness. Sometimes we're so busy with life and what's going on in our own lives busy with this and that and the other and we forget to just take a moment and ask people how they really are not your how are you i'm fine kind of kind of check in but to really know to really intentionally ask a person how they really are and to be kind to everybody i know this sounds so cliche and everybody's saying it you need to be kind uh, to everybody because you don't know what people are going through and it's not always what we practice hey it's not always what we practice people are really really unkind out here they um, it's not only in the world, it's also in the church. I'm a Christian. I love Jesus. I love God's people. But we have some of the most un unkind people in the church. And it shouldn't be that. It shouldn't be that way because God calls us to be um, people who walk in love, in kindness. Those are fruit of the Spirit. And he says, how will you know um, them that love Jesus by the fruit of their spirit, by the fruit of their spirit, which is um, among the nine fruit of the spirit is kindness, kindness and love. So I really, really love that Mpo is so aware of those things. I haven't seen him in a while and I'm so glad that um, in, 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 in the shortest time, um, proceeding to his passing, that he was so aware of himself. He was so aware of God. And I pray to God that he receives his soul and that he was really a person who had a deep relationship with God. Because death sometimes is such a rude awakening. And just to tell us like, hey, you're not of this world. This uh, this world is passing. It's fleeting. There is a greater greater um, world or should I say greater eternity after this world and that requires us to receive Christ as our Lord and personal Savior and live out this life for God because at the end of the day we want to go and hear the words well done good and faithful servant enter into your rest right so 
Paul really reminded me of the urgency of the fact that we really need to think about eternity because this is just a twinkle of an eye. We hear and then the next minute we're gone. It is not to say you can't enjoy life and you can't achieve things because yes, it is still durable for us to do that, right? But also in mind, keeping the fact that we are not of this world. We're just visitors here. There is a greater, greater life outside of this, and that is eternity with Christ Jesus. Thank you so much. Amen.